opening curb champion because it's again as soon as you know that obviously you call down resets and stuff like that you know that you need to go for those your kits all built around going for those long ranged enemies it's kind of just making sure you're able to utilize it and execute it at will but hey mm -hmm. Ziggs comes through once more for ASV and we're Maokai? potentially getting the Maokai which would be a huge disruption to the ambassador but there it is there's the Camille for Hans. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is another draft that I feel like. I mean, the Ziggs priority is just is just not it for me. I don't think the Ziggs is doing much work in any of these games. To be honest, it just seems like a very weird, strange pick to have. I mean, again, you're seeing Almighty Capybara just going for the same draft again, basically. You exactly. have the Imbessa, we'll and it. you have the Imp you have the Imbessa, and you have the Camille engaging. You have the Morgana there with the Black Shield. So even if Maokai is going to be there with the crowd control, even if Jax is going to be there with the crowd control, there's nothing that they can do because the Black Shield is just going to block all of that crowd control. So this Camille and Imbessa can just dive into the back line and just do so much damage to this Zig. So yeah, I I, I just don't like the draft from uh, ASV in general. I mean, the Jax is something that they like to play, right? I mean, the Jax isn't always a underwhelming pick for Kaizo. He does play very well on the Jax, and he clearly likes it because it's been the pretty much the draft pick for every game they've played to gate uh, play today is Jax, 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 Jax going into this fourth game of the day for the side of ASV. So clearly, it's Kaizo's uh, Kaizo's comfort pick, but they just need to make sure that they're able to formulate it with this draft. And I feel like the Mokai does actually fit into this a lot better especially with the nature's grasp as well really just trying to funnel down and trying to stop Mbessa and camille from going in onto the back line yeah we'll have to be see if maybe the severe gets banned away uh, doesn't mm. actually ezra on virus gets banned away i mean like i said they're basically doing this like two carry composition with the Ambessa and the camille and then the other picks are just utility champions yep. you know the galio what we saw before the morgana and the severe the movement speed the black shield and also the galio coming in with the ultimate there are so many ways in which you can just dive in onto the back line there's so much utility in a way and the difficulty is is you are you're not playing a marksman or oh, they actually take it away okay interesting so they take away the severe this time around uh getting that priority first pick on the second pick phase so interesting adaptation there um not going to allow them to get the movement speed that they need but to see what marksman they pick this time I mean, the, the Zaya is open, right? So we could see Zaya come through. We could see the potential of maybe even Ooh. the Zeri as well. They don't go for the Galio, even though it's open. So the Galio Camille synergy is always something that's greatly seen on the Rift. But it's, uh, it's said they go for the Orm, which again could be a good counter to the Nature's Grasp. And they're going for the Akali. So Akali in the mid lane and then Morgana going down in the bot lane interesting yeah really nice really really nice adaptation the akali is definitely going to be uh very difficult uh when it mm. comes to 1v1 against either the ziggs or the severe kindred viego oh viego okay so we saw viego yesterday from asv this is yep. actually on aqua so it could be aqua again playing uh the viego we saw how much of a carry he can be on the viego last time but uh, I, again, I just look at the draft and I just feel like there is just so much frontline on the side of Almighty Capybara, And then you also now have the Akali to deal with as well. Like, how do you deal with the Akali jumping in onto the back line with Ambessa and everything else? Like, Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be another difficult game for ASV. However, they do have a bit of a better early game now. They have the Viego there to actually try and fight and get these skirmishes a lot better in the early game. And maybe this is what they need. Just a different style of jungler that can look to try and fight and skirmish in the early game. Yeah, I mean, Viego was the pick that they chose last yesterday to actually get their win over the board of the Team France. And then they were able to pick Viego uh, today as well when they played against B4T in their last match. So it was Vi Viego. Vi hasn't quite done as well as they thought it did for themselves for B4T. Uh, but this Viego was a very solid pick yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> where did, where did you get Thailand? yours from? Where, uh, where's got, the best? I, I, I don't know. I, I just got to Asda. I picked mine up. I, I got a Terry's chocolate orange one, so I'm a bit, oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit okay. dusty like that. I like my, I like my chocolate a little bit more uh, unique <laughs> for the British palate. <laughs> unique. Uh, hey, chocolate is chocolate to me. Chocolate. <laughs> chocolate is chocolate. Unless it's uh, dark chocolate, then uh, yeah, that doesn't count. Nah, see, I'm a fan of dark chocolate. I do like dark chocolate. Uh, I Good can't. Good palate. I can't. I, I'm only milk or white. It's the only ways. Dark chocolate is just a no-go for me. Basic. 
I'm a basic bitch. What can I say? <laughs> it's not even past nine o'clock in the UK. You can't swear. That's not fair. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Cancelled. Sorry. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're, we're getting into game two anyway after speaking uh, of chocolate and they're making me even more hungry than I was before I started this cast. But this is all about what ASV can do to try and damage control or what happened in that game on, right? No, exactly that. Yeah, I mean, it, this game is like a reset for them. They need to reset mentally. They need to reset in terms of their game plan as well. We saw in the previous game that it was just so much early game domination that there was just nothing else that they could do about it. Interesting enough, they put the Morgana still oh. in bot side and oh. Uh, maybe a DC or something? Oh, maybe no. it oh. You know who it is? It's, it's the it. same person as yesterday. The same DC as yesterday. Okay, whoever, does anyone know who this Oak guy is? Anyone in chat know who the Oak is? Um, anyone? Anyone in chat? Like, they, can you tell them to, for them to sort out their internet next time they compete in a tournament? <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe they're broadband suppliers from a tree. I have heard that German internet is not that great. I have heard. Okay, okay. I have Maybe heard from sources that German internet sources. is not that great, um, which is, hey, a plus for us, I guess, because I guess we're one up on someone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't have many waters up in Britain, but there we go. <laughs> At least the internet's okay. <laughs> Depending on your <sighs> provider, that is. That's true. I have a random provider, you know. I don't even have a normal provider. I have a random one, but hey, it's never dropped. It's been pretty stable, so I can't uh, can't say much at all. But yeah, um, not the early game they were they would have wanted, uh, unfortunately. Um, this is a bit of an unfortunate situation. Um, but yeah, we're in a situation this game where the it's exactly the same as yesterday. I cannot believe it. Like surely after yesterday, when you DC right, you think to yourself like, right, I need to go into a, a, a I need to go into a scenario in the game where oh i can't get to kill as well i need to get into a scenario where i'm not going to be disconnected and uh yeah unfortunately that happens but akali already getting one kill trying to go in for another kill as well this top lane matchup has been absolute horror for kaizo in this game oh actually gets the counter engaged though and gets one kill back but is gonna die for uh for the action that he was just taking but yeah overall this top lane matchup has been absolute horror yeah, I mean, is it is it the matchup or is it the fact that it's actually the player? Because, I mean, Han has actually been a really good Baron lane player for pretty much all this day. Yeah. Some unfortunate scenario. Killing spree now from Besser already. Oh, this is... Uh-oh. Uh Knock up. Oh, oh, lives, lives. Oh, lives. I think he actually leveled up and he lived off the level up as well. So that was really nice. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Very convenient level up there for the side of the Red Sea. But right now, we're seeing that uh, ASV may be at a detriment of their T1. That big chunk of health from the T1 in the mid lane is uh, pretty bad as they get these two platens. Well, right now, you can kind of see that uh, Timmings is just waiting for the prime moment. Getting a bit of that oh, practice no. between these two turrets. I love, I love how the Ziggs just throws his bombs underneath his towers. Like, yeah, you can come get me. But um, at the same time, you're going to be hitting the wrath of my bombs. And oh, maybe it's enough. No, it's not going to be enough. Really clean power dive. And the Akali is going to clean up as well. And the Ambessa jumps on in. Ambessa is going to survive thanks to the shield. Akali survives as well. The Alistar does die. Also, I should say the Orn. For some reason, that Orn skin looks like Alistar. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, the Orn does die. And unfortunately, that is going to be more kills over to Almighty Capybari. But yeah, um, not really much you can do when you have an AFK. I mean, in these t in these type of tournaments, unfortunately, we, we don't have any sort of like tournament row realm or anything like that so no pauses or anything can happen so unfortunately when there is internet issues it's down to the player themselves and making sure that they have you know stable internet yeah everything's a little bit unfortunate for these 
players and these situations and these puns that Blam is coming up with. But the neutral objectives are up now, and the T1 in the mid lane is still taking a little bit of a beating from Orn as well. They're just trying to get as much gold as they can in this game. And right now, all my scabby fires are around about 8k gold ahead, and ASV just take another L there up into the far, uh, the Baron lane as Kaizo gets taken down. Jax had a 2v1 by Akali and Camille. Uh, Akali's, uh, Akali's just been roaming around this entire time. Already has the Infinity Orb finished and being able to just roam around, get kill after kill after kill and oh, maybe can even dash over the wall. Nope, decides to uh, not dash over the wall there. But yeah, Akali back in the mid lane, using the ultimate to get onto the back of it and Maokai goes down as well. Some more kills. Unfortunately, still an AFK Viego in base, but nothing you could do. Hey, it's just the internet provider diff. I guess the, you know, Russia has better internet than Germany. Confirmed. Right here. Exclusive yeah. news. <laughs> Pur purge as the source and the citation. It's like, uh, how do we know? Oh, yeah, it's Purge tournament. We watch, just go back and watch this video. And there's a double kill from the Akali as well onto the Ziggs. Even though it was kind of like a really low elf Akali, she was going in. She was like, hey, I'm going to commit. I'm going to get two kills on the board for myself, which brings all my Gavavaris up to that 12 kills to four, which is just making everything a little bit harder for ASV to come back from. I mean, as if it's not hard enough, right, being down a guy. Yeah, being down a guy, being down a, a player is very difficult. I mean, at this point of the game, you're just trying to... Uh, Come up with a miracle, but I don't even think a miracle is enough to really come back from this game. It's so difficult at this point. Your man down, your 10,000 plus gold down, your towers are all getting destroyed. It's just a horror, isn't it? It's, an, it's like a nightmare. This is Absolutely. what I would see in my nightmares. This is what I see in my solo queue games. My, just my random jungler to set a base. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I will last. Will I last hit his uh, blue buff or red buff by accident? You know, just just one of those kind of moments. And then just sat back at the base, like you know what, guys, you can play four v five. See you later, and then you end up winning anyway. But this is not going to be the case for ASV. It seems as they just lost their T two up into the Baron lane as well. They haven't quite got a turret to their name just yet, and they're still not done there. They're looking to go for the inhibitor. They take it down. The counter strike does come through. Oh, Kaizo! Man, knock a counter though. Oh no, Kaizo tried to go in to protect it, but I don't think there was much protection that needed to be done. The Gorilla Turret, they're trying to end the game in eight minutes. I mean, they might be able to, to be fair. The Gorilla Turret's going to tank up a lot of the damage. Can they do enough damage to kill the Nexus? They can. Almighty Capybara will be your Rift Legends Battle Champions, and they will move to the Rift Legends Showdown in two weeks' time for that all-important 5,000 euro prize pool. Yeah, a bit of an unfortunate end there for ASV as the jungler did have a bit of a connection issue, wasn't able to actually rejoin, but that sometimes this is just the way it happens, unfortunately, for this team. But like all my capabaris, even without that, would they have struggled to get this victory after their first game? I would say probably not. Yeah, I mean, hopefully the Oak will be uh, watching back of this game and watching the chat and seeing everyone in chat saying, please fix the internet. I mean, there you go. That's all you need to do. I mean, to win a game of Wild Rift, you just need to have stable internet. You learn something new today, chat. Make sure that you don't play Wild Rift on anything like uh, on a train or on a car journey. Don't play Wild Rift because most of the time you will probably disconnect. And uh, yeah, it won't be a good time for all of your teammates. But yeah, overall in the end, I mean, even just going back to the first game, because this game's pretty difficult to really talk about. Mm. Um, but like the first game in general, I mean, was a very, very strong game. I think the draft uh, in general from um, Almighty Capybari looked very, very similar. They definitely have this game plan where their carries are definitely Han and Shin in this top and jungle. And then they kind of play around that as well. But uh, to be fair, I mean, the Akali looked pretty clean in the end. So like got a few kills in the end, make some, uh, made some really, really nice outplays. So that was very nice um as well but yeah i mean at the same time also the the role swaps i think at the same time for yeah. 